hello Septaba Intic class. Today we are going to learn how to create an LMS account. Or what you need to do is to log in into the LMS system, which is this one. Then you move to this icon that is login. Once you click, you click the login, it will bring you to this interface. Once you create the account, you'll be able to be logging into the system by using your username and password. And because you are a new learner in this learning management system, you require to create the account first. So you move here and say, click, click create account. It will give you this interface, creating a new account. Choose your username and your password. So in the username, you input your admission number, which in this case, my admission number is that one, four, three, four, five, three. And then you input your password and that password must have a cap letter, small letter, numbers, and a numeric. That is a system requirement. From there, you move down to where they, you are required to input your email. And for instance, I'm going to use Peter at gmail.com. You can input the same Peter or you copy, paste. It's gmail.com. Then this way is very critical. When you come to the first name, you input again the admission number, which is that one four five three. That one four five three. And then immediately it should be followed by the course that you are taking. Which course are you taking? For instance, let me take your take. You are taking diploma in electrical and electronic. So that is D E E. Then which is your intake? Because we have two in intakes this year. Are you in January or are you in September? So for instance, we, we assume that you're in September. So you input September. And then from there, you move down to the class. Which class are you? Because in the September intake, you could be having seven classes. For instance, you could be having A, B, C, D, and E. So for instance, this student, particular student with that one, four, five, three is in class A. So you put your A. Then because we are dealing with the first name Coram, we put your first name, which is Peter. That your, that's your first name. Then if you have, the, you have the surname, you can input your surname or your name, middle name and then surname. Let's say the, the surname is Omoro. But as well, you can input your, you can input your, your middle name here followed by your surname. Then which town are we? We're in Dika. Then which country are we? We're in Kenya. So you select Kenya, you put there. And then immediately you click here, create accounts. I'm not going to create an account because I'm already an existing user. And again, this is not a student in Dika Technical. Once you click here, create my account. If you provided the collect email address, which is this, the system will send a notification in your email. Meaning immediately you're supposed to go to your email. You will find a notification from the, our system, our running management system. And it will have a link. And you'll be guided to click that link. Immediately you click that link. It will bring you back to the, our running management system. And then your account creation will have been completed. What is very, very critical if, is for you always to remember your username and your password. And in the case you forget your username or your password, 
the system has what we has a support system whereby you click forgot the password or the the username and you'll be able to create but what you cannot change is the email not unless you know your username and your password trust that helps thank you